What's going on, mobile gamers? Today I'm going to show you guys how to play PlayStation 3 or PS3 on your Asus Rogue Ally in 2024. So let's level up our gaming knowledge just a little bit more. All right, mobile gamers. So I'm going to let you know now that most of this emulator is already pre-set up for us, except for what I'm going to be showing you here today, which is how to load games, how to update games, and how to get the firmware to actually be able to play games, which is located right on the Sony website. So let's start off with that. So I am using desktop control mode on my Asus Rogue Ally for the sake of this video, just to make it easy for me to navigate around. I'm going to go to Google Chrome. I'm going to type in the search bar PS3 firmware, just like so. Click enter. Now you're going to navigate to the PlayStation 3 website, click on it. And the latest firmware as of today is 4.91. Now you're going to scroll down until you see the option to actually install this so updating use a computer click the plus icon long press now i'm using my finger now right click click on save link as and it'll open up an actual dialog window for your download section to actually download the ps3 update pup file so click save click keep just ignore that because that's probably your virus detection and it's downloaded right away so mine is pretty quick now I do have fast internet and that is why it was pretty fast. Now we're going to navigate and close out of Google Chrome. We're going to go down to our file manager. We're going to scroll to this PC, go to your OS, go to your users, and then go to whatever your username is. Mine is I'm new. Navigate down to where it says MU deck, navigate to emulation station DE, and then navigate to emulators. You're going to scroll down to RPC S3. That's the emulator for PlayStation 3. Scroll down until you see the application for RPCS3 in lowercase and click it. Now it's going to open up this little window. I highly recommend you to create a desktop shortcut and that's up to preference, but I'm going to do that here today. Now check off the I have read the quick startup guide and do not show again and click continue. Now in the top left hand side, we're going to click on file. We're going to go down to where it says install firmware. We're going to navigate to our downloads and we're going to grab that PS3 update.pup file and click on it and let it install. Now this does take some time to install it and it's successfully installed. So click on don't show again, click okay. And now you're gonna let it do its thing with the PPPU modules. Sorry about that little bit of flicker. That's just my HDMI acting up. Now, once that is done again, that is just my HDMI. As you can see on the screen on the bottom right hand side, it's not doing that. So ignore that. I'm very sorry for that. Not sure what that's all about. Next, we're gonna go into pads. So there's pads right here. And you're going to make sure that your X input mode is selected. This is for our actual controller. And make sure that X input pad one is selected, which is also our controller. Scroll all the way to the side here. And you can set up your buttons however you'd like them. Mine are set up the way that I want it, just basically based off of the controller itself. Now you're going to notice because I'm in desktop mode, I'm not going to be able to actually move anything and check out my analog stick. So let's click on our play icon or the hotkey icon, go to gamepad mode, and then start moving around your joysticks so that you can see that it's actually functioning and all of your buttons. You can even test them if you want to make sure that they're actually interacting with the actual system and then click save. Now we can go into config and your GPU is, should be at least, set to AMD Radeon 740M graphics. Most of these async shader interpolators and everything like that are all set up. I've only tested a couple games. You can turn on VSync, which I highly recommend as well. And that's one other output that you can turn on just to make sure that everything is compiling in the background. If you know a lot about emulation, you want stuff to not be handling a lot of information on the main thread. So I'm just gonna let you know all that. Your audio, that you can set up all that if you want to in here. And this is all dependent on however your games need to be ran. There's a huge compatibility list on the RPS3 website that you can check out to make sure that some of your games will load. Now I'm going to actually set up my load folder. So I'm going to change this back to desktop mode for the sake being. 
and I'm going to select the folder where all of my games are. Now, we're not gonna be able to actually use this folder yet because we have to actually do something to each one of these games to be able to actually load into our PSC3. So if I go to my PS3 folder right here and select this folder, my folder is not going to actually load here because there's no games recognizing in here as all of my games are loaded as a ISO. So what we have to do is navigate to wherever your games are. Mine are on my external SD card. If you didn't watch the very first video about how to set up Emu Deck, go watch that now. I'm going to go into my emulation, into my ROMs. Now I'm going to navigate down to PS3. So LMNO P. I got to organize these folders someday get rid of all the folders I don't need and PS3 is right there and as you can see my games are still in an ISO format so how to actually get them to be working and everything you have to actually click on the game it's going to open up the actual drive or the DVD drive you're gonna check box all of those files that are inside of that drive you're gonna go up to the copy option you're going to just click minimize you're gonna go back to wherever your ROMs directory is. And then you're going to create a folder in here. I'm gonna create a folder called Minecraft because this is Minecraft. So, Minecraft, just like so. It doesn't have to be named anything specific. You can just make sure that you know where it is. Navigate inside that folder, click right click, and then paste. This does take some time depending on the size of the game and your SD card, of course. Now, make sure that all of the files copied over. As you can see, it Looked like it didn't copy over for a second there, but all of them are there. You can also double check to see if it'll work. If you go into your RPS3, click refresh, there's Minecraft right there. So as you can see, this game needs to be updated to version 1.84. So I'm gonna show you that in a few minutes. The very cool thing that you can do is actually install a compatibility list as well. So if you right click here, you can go down to the download compatibility list database and then it'll tell you if the game is playable or not. If it doesn't load right away, just close out the application and then reopen it again, which is perfectly fine. Sorry about the flicker. I'm going to cover that. Now, for now, we're going to minimize this. We're going to exit out of our file manager and we're going to scroll down to Google Chrome. We're going to type in the search bar PS3 Updater GitHub. You're going to look for an application in GitHub. I'm going to actually link this in the description below as well. This is the application right here. It's called Downloader PS3 Game Update Downloader. And it's very easy to use once I show you how to use it because it might seem like it's difficult at first until I show you how to use it. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so basically, this is saying that the file is dangerous. Don't worry about that. Just download the Win64 file. I don't know why I grabbed the Win32 file. There we go, there's the Win64 file. Now you're going to extract this Win64 file, click Extract All, and click Extract again. And I already have this file inside of my Downloads folder. I highly recommend you to keep this somewhere safe. Example, like on your SD card or something, which it's right here. So I'm going to grab this folder right here. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go down to wherever my SD card is. So right here. And I'm just going to paste it right here on the root of the SD card. And there we go. So we need to navigate inside this folder. And I'm going to checkbox this one. And I'm going to cut this and take it out and put it right here. Because I don't like to have folders inside folders for no apparent reason. I'm going to decheck this. Click delete. Click delete again. And now we're going to navigate inside of here. You're going to open up. PS3 GUD or GUID. Wait for it to run. Now this is going to ask you, where do you want your downloaded packages to go? I'm just gonna leave it the way that it is and I'm gonna click exit. And it's going to ask you for the title ID. The reason why I'm showing you Minecraft is because it has multiple different game or updates for it. So we're gonna navigate in here. We're gonna right click on it. We're gonna scroll down to copy info. You're going to scroll down to where it says copy serial. Sorry about the flicker. And you're going to minimize this and you're going to paste that serial number in here. So what you're going to do is open up your keyboard and click on that paste option and click search. Now you're going to close your keyboard and it's going to give you a whole bunch of options. 
you're going to want to download all of these options. I did not mean to click that button. So open up your keyboard again, click control. And then you're going to select all of these updates so that you can get to the latest update. So I'm going to try to do this with my keyboard like I am right now. Control, down arrow. It's going to be very hard because there we go. When I use my micro HDMI and all that kind of stuff, it really buggers out for some reason. So there we go. We're able to actually select these. I'm going to move my keyboard out of the way. I might just have to select the last one by itself. So close your keyboard out and then download all of these. So download, wait for them to download. All right, so now I'm going to finalize and download the last two. So download those or however many there are. If you want to go to the latest build, that's up to you and let it do its thing and come back when you're done downloading. Now that all these files are downloaded, we're going to exit, exit again. And we're going to go down to the folder that says downloaded packages. Now you'll see a folder that says Minecraft PlayStation 3 edition. And you'll see all of these folder or files in here that are formatted to package files. So let's minimize this. Let's close out of another file folder that I have open. Let's close out of Chrome and let's open up RPC S3 once again. And now that that's opened, we're going to go to file at the top left hand side. And we're going to go down to where it says install packages, wraps, edats, and click on it. You're going to navigate to the folder wherever you located that. So I'm going to go to my PS3 update down, yep, down go folder. And then I'm going to go to download packages. I'm going to go to Minecraft and you need to install. Make sure you listen to this part. You need to install these in order. So each one of these has a number beside them. So 178, 179. And the biggest one is the very first one that you should be installing. So click on that one, click open, let it do its thing. So click yes. This sometimes takes a while if it's a big file or if it's a big update, just like this one is. So just let it load. And there we go. So we successfully installed that. Now you're going to see that we have still more updates. So we're only on update version 178. So you have to go through these individually. So just click on all these checkboxes. And as you can see, just kidding. You can't actually do that. So I just wanted to test you there. So don't forget to subscribe because I like to test people while I do this kind of stuff just to make sure you're paying attention. So click install packages, go to the next one, click open and let it do its thing. This one will be fast because it's small. And then you got to do this individually over and over again until you're completely at the latest update that you want to be on. You don't have to go to the latest update, but I'm going to because I want all of the features that Minecraft has for me in store. And there we go. Let's get a little refresh on that. Let's close it out because we don't need really much anything else in here. And let's navigate down to ESD. Make sure you change your mode to controller gamepad mode. Swipe it from the bottom, open up ESD. And now we have PS3. So the big thing to note here is that this is actually trying to grab information from a shortcut that I put in here. So don't worry about that. Just go to Minecraft or whatever game you have that you just installed and updated and let it load. It does take some time for it to load sometimes at the beginning as it has to analyze a whole bunch of files. But after the very first time that it loads, it usually jumps right into the game after like 30 seconds or so, depending on the game. And as you can see, we are in Minecraft PlayStation 3 edition. And yes, I have some save worlds already. I'm going to load into it just to show you how well Minecraft PlayStation 3 Edition runs on the Asus Rogue Ally. Now, again, there is a compatibility list. Make sure you check that before you end up ripping your games and trying to play them on the Asus Rogue Ally. But otherwise, this game runs really well. And this is the only game I really want because a lot of games that are not exclusives to the PlayStation 3 are actually on Steam and other sources. So I'm not really going to play a lot of PlayStation 3 myself, but I still wanted to show you guys how to do it because it took me actually about half a day to figure this out. And I thought I'd share because I've already shared a lot of other guides about how to play ESDE or use ESDE, which is an emulator front end for your Asus Rogue Ally using EmuDeck and all of your game backups in 2024. Have a nice day, guys. Hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. 
if you want to become a member that helps support the channel grow and help support the channel with a lot of giveaways because I do like to give things back to the community. See you next time. I'm going to enjoy some Minecraft PlayStation 3 edition on my Asus Rogue Ally. Bye bye